Lord Nelson, held in the highest esteem, whose passions ran deep for a blacksmith's daughter, Emma Hamilton. Her stunning looks set her apart. Then this man, George Romney, the most fashionable painter of the day, came across the young beauty, and at his studios here in Cavendish Square, she became his muse. And the 18th century was a remarkable time for an explosion in print culture. And Mass produced cheap black and white prints of Romney's paintings, then made Emma a pin-up. It was like Hello magazine for the first time. She is naturally beautiful, which is the reason she was painted, one of the reasons she was painted in the first place. Um, and those images are carried through to um, sort of the broader public. So printing technology and prints of Emma Hamilton make her a celebrity? Yes. Fame made her desirable and led to marriage with this man, Sir William Hamilton, the British envoy to Naples. It was here that Norfolk's favourite son, the hero of the day, Lord Nelson, stopped for supplies and an enduring love affair began. It was like a Hollywood romance, but it also fueled another familiar feature of modern day life, scandal. Sir William watches as lovers carry on. Nelson and Lady Hamilton in love tryst. Gossip was rife. Not only was Nelson married, the lovers conducted their affair openly in front of Sir William. There were rumours the three of them lived together here at Merton Place in southwest London, which Nelson and Emma had bought for their future. Now it's an old council estate. Back then it was Paradise Merton, a place in the country away from all the chatter. In 1800, Emma, Nelson and Sir William come back to live in England and Nelson instructs um, Emma to find him and her a country pad where they can live out their future days together. Um, so in 1801 she finds Merton Place and it's the love nest that they hope for, which they called Paradise Merton. But it didn't last for long. After losing his eye and then an arm, Nelson's luck ran out. Shot dead, kiss me hardy, and the rest of course is history. For Emma, the high life ended too, crippled by debt, dying in poverty, but her legacy will always be one half of one of the world's greatest love affairs. Jim Weeble, BBC London News.